the most significant win of the weekend for conference perception for the team was Ohio State going to Michigan State, beating one of the top 10 defenses in the country. JT Barrett was unbelievable. Pete, if you're a committee member, yes. with that win in mind, what happens to that week two home loss against Virginia Tech? It's and still how there. Comes into play? You can't just <laughs> you erase it. Away. You didn't go away. See, here's the problem. We get, remember, the narrative a few short weeks ago was that the Big Ten couldn't win September. They lost everything. This was a very, very, very bad conference. And so all of a sudden, they got into conference play, and they start beating each other. And Ohio State looks great against a bunch of bad Big Ten teams. And all of a sudden, it's like, ooh, look at Ohio State now. Michigan State still only has one win over a team that's going to end up in a bowl. This defense is not the same defense last year. It's an okay D. It's not a great D. Ohio State's very, very, very good. Still have the loss to Virginia Tech. The loss, to, the win over Michigan State's very, very good. But still, you put this Ohio State team in the SEC West, not a chance are they get, doing this well. So I think you still have to take this with a grain of salt, and you probably have to put them fifth among the Power Five Conference leaders right now. The Virginia Tech loss is there, but after they beat Michigan State, they watered it down a little bit. It doesn't look as bad. And I think that the college football playoff, the panel of, when they sit and look at Ohio State as a team, they say, where is Ohio State now as to where they were week two when they played Virginia Tech? Freshman quarterback, they were out of sorts on offense, they were trying to find themselves. They are a completely different football team now than they were when they played Virginia Tech. Now, that loss is still there. This was the BCS era. That loss would hurt them a lot more with, than, it was, than it does now with the college football playoff with the human voting because they're going to look at it and say, where is this football team at today? Well, we know where they were week two, but where are they today? They are much better. That's the point. They are a much better team because they're playing Maryland. They're playing, you know, these mediocre teams. And, okay, they got in this shootout with Michigan State. Whoop-de-doo. Do it against Auburn. Then do it against Mississippi State. Do it against LSU. They don't do it against well, Alabama. They, they they but that's what the committee yeah. has to do. The committee has to say you didn't do it against these teams, and you're doing it against these bad Big Ten teams. So, therefore, boom. And that's actually one of the things that the committee does. They will look at offenses and how, in theory, they would match up against other defenses. Sure. So I'm sure that'll be part of the discussion. But there is clear evolution, you know, not just by JT Barrett, but by the offensive line, too. No, yet again, they're playing bad teams. That's why there's an evolution. <laughs> there's a reason why you're good if you're playing bad teams. You want to look thin, hang out with fat people. Translation, Pete's not giving Ohio State the benefit of the doubt.